Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Horoscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Leo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody and that's just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. For your key to the week this week, you have the Magician card, right? So this is a week of powerful potential for you. What do you want to create, Leo? What are you ready to do with your life? What are you ready for people to know about you? What are you ready to communicate out into the world? Whatever you are working on behind the scenes has amazing potential this week, right? Even if you're not necessarily presenting it to the world this week, sorry, you'll have to forgive the wind. It's really bad here today. Um, even if you're not necessarily ready to launch something right now, it does suggest to me that this week there could be some powerful ideas, some powerful understandings, or some really wonderful advancements when it comes to things that you're ready to communicate, whether this is a book that you're writing, whether it's some sort of uh, communicative energy that you're working on behind the scenes, a book, a blog, um, videos like I'm doing now, you know, like this is actually really great energy. It also suggests in a some way as well, there is recognition here. It may not be huge. It may not be world acclaim as like a, a, a lot of Leos are said to love, um, which I find interesting because, you know, there's a, there's a duality to every sign. And <laughs> I always laugh about this because there's two types of Leos. There's the ones that are theatrical and loud and love the spotlight. Nothing like me, of course. Um, <laughs> and then there are the others that, you know, are what I call the silent dignity. Um, when it comes to being loud and theatrical and stuff, that's, that's me. That's my energy. Um, when it comes to boasting and stuff like that or bigging myself up, that's where I take on more of that guise. And I know there are a lot of Leos out there that don't necessarily love the spotlight and they are what I call the silent dignity types. They've got the Leo regality, but they don't wield that. They're not loud or ostentatious. Um, you know, they just have that silent sort of exuding energy about them. It, and it's wonderful. It, whatever type of Leo you are, you are wonderful and you are valid. Anyway, this could really see you being recognized for something or understood to be, uh, you know, an authority. Uh, you know, somebody to go to about something in your specific field. Um, great, all right? So if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. If you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves ya. And uh, if you haven't seen it, please don't forget to check out your Life Path Numerology October 2021 reading. I work really hard on these to give you a different energy, a different understanding of the energies that we're all gonna be experiencing. That being said, if you don't know your life path number, there will be a little thingy floating around that will show you how to calculate your life path number. All right, so check that out. For your actions and options this week, you have the 10 of swords, right? So for some of you, uh, in fact, for a lot of you, and maybe in several ways, something that you maybe had your heart set on, you're choosing to terminate. The reason I say you're choosing the Ten of Swords is an ending, a completion or a culmination. Sometimes uh, a very definite one at that. It's in your actions and options, which is about what you do. It's about how you choose to proceed with something. This could be a big project that you've been working on or working towards that you say, actually, you know what? I'm never going to be able to do this or to do it justice. I'm not going to do it. Or maybe there's something that you're saying you know what, I'd love to do this, but I can't do it now. I don't have the time, I don't have the resources, I don't have the mental capacity. In some way, shape or form, you are choosing to end or relinquish something this week, which is never a bad thing because when you do this consciously, 
One, you don't drop any of the plates that you're spinning, and two, the energy that you're spending trying to keep something alive or afloat, you can put into something else that is already working well and functioning. Don't see this as a loss, see it as a rediversion, uh, see it as a diversion of power. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Knight of Wands. So this week, you get passionate. There's some conversation that you're having this week, something that you are sharing, something that you are ready to speak about, something that you're ready to protest about or speak up for or out on. Um, I actually really like this because it suggests that this week we are going to hear the Leo's roar, but it's going to be a contained one. It's not going to be like a rah, savage, lose my shit for the sake of it. There is a purpose behind this, right? There's, there's, uh, you know what, let me roar, but let me roar in such a way that even the birds themselves will come and sit at my paws, right? There's there's ways to get what we want. And I think this week you're gonna be starting to understand that. For those of you that work for somebody else, your passion, your vigor, and your vision is what is gonna win your boss or your peers over. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, similar kind of energy. But this this week, I feel like there's an invitation either from overseas or from, you know, uh, maybe somebody that you consider a peer or an authority. And when this happens, there could be a moment where you're kind of like, did this just happen? Like, and you know, like if you get carried away in that, um, don't like don't hold yourself back. Let yourself get carried away. Let yourself get swept up in it. As long as you're, you know, still chatting sense by the end of it, <laughs> you know, not just fanboy in or fangirling over something, and then it's like, okay, we need to calm down. <laughs> For those of you that are retired or no longer working plan a trip, plan some sort of travel, or at least do some sort of activity that's gonna break you out of the humdrum. For your love and relations, you have the, so in this card, it's the she, um, but in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this would be the temperance card. Now you've got this in the love and relations, right? So this with the 10 of swords, this week you may have to really fight hard not to allow yourself to be pulled into somebody else's drama. And by somebody else, I mean either your partner or uh, a member of your partner's family or the in-law, or it could be a loved one. Um, there's something here this week that suggests you're, it's almost like you're being pulled into something unnecessarily. And you're kind of like, you know, this really doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, I'd rather be the neutral party. And to be honest with you, with whatever's coming up, playing that neutral role this week will be vital to your own mental peace. If you've been having challenges, issues, or worries within your personal relationship, this week you can find some healing, but I gotta be honest with you, it looks like in a lot of ways you are either out for blood, verbally this is, by the way, <laughs> you know, or, you've already decided I'm going my own way. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to wait for you to catch up. You either will or you won't. Like there's a very serious note here. Uh, when it comes to those of you that are single, if you are looking, it's going to be in the really unconventional places that you find love this week. So for some of you, this might be at the gym. Uh, and you know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's not unconventional. Well, it kind of is, you know, when you stood there sweating from every aspect of your body, not looking graceful, beetroot red face, you know, steam and sweat evaporating off your head. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. <laughs> you don't exactly look your best. <laughs> so, you know, pick, getting picked up or picking someone up at the gym. Yeah, you know, maybe at the start of your session when you still, you know, look like a gym bunny. <laughs> something to consider but yeah uh, the other way that this could show up for you as well you might meet someone in an unconventional place like the temperance card is therapists doctors counselors healers so maybe you know somewhere and this person looks like they may be in transit so it's not necessarily somebody that's from where you're from you might just connect with them at the right moment while they're on their journey um, you know, maybe it's the area manager that's visiting the gym to audit it and then, oh gosh, can you imagine? That's my kind of luck for your 
<laughs> yeah, for your money and materials, you have the King of Swords. This is wonderful, right? When it comes to your finances, your money, your resources, there is a solid offer or opportunity that is coming in this week that could be very lucrative for you. Um, it looks like you're going to have to commit. If you're good, if you're going to do this, you will have to commit. You can't be half in, half out. You're going to have to be like, yes, I want to do this. This is the time, the energy, the resources, whatever that I can dedicate to it, or no, I can't. The King of Swords usually represents um, somebody that's very well versed in their field, somebody that's very good at what they do, somebody that is, uh, you know, celebrated, accoladed, somebody that may look like the magician or have that kind of energy about them. They're respected in their field for what they do. This is somebody that takes a shining on, to, on you and is either promoting you, putting you forward, or they're helping you in some way, shape or form to enhance your own business that could see things really grow or expand. Love this. Um, I kind of get a feeling of like taking you know, someone taking you under their wing. When it comes to your um, physical health and vitality, the King of Swords for me is Aquarius ruled. So this would be the systems of your body. With that temperance card there, you could be seeing a healing professional. That's so fucking weird. Um, not weird, but oh my gosh, like, yeah, this is amazing. This week you could be uh, starting a new health regime, you could be, and you're working with somebody who is a specialist in their field. Um, love this, wow, yeah, well, uh, that's crazy because it's a prediction for me too. Um, <laughs> oh, for your uh, home and environment, the King of Swords, I mean, with this mix of cards, it does look like whatever, there's a correspondence that's coming in this week, and it may be one that has to be dealt with on a legal basis. It could be anything from, uh, you know, we're putting the rent up to we're selling the property to, you know, all of the things above and more like it. But whatever correspondence it's going to be, it will come through the official terms. And for me, you know, I'm old school like that. Official terms usually means an actual letter rather than an email or a phone call. For your new moon message, what is this new moon trying to initiate for you? You have the gate 57 and intuition. Interestingly enough, um, I think it was Gemini got this as well. So the new moon is really trying to remind you of your own intuition, but it's also asking you to open that up. Whatever comes to you as an idea that floats on a breeze or as a ribbon of thought, follow it, right? The new moon is gonna highlight to you where you're ready to become the magician. And what you have to do is follow that path towards it. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.